just a quick um, lesson on Pythagoras' theorem. So let's go do some theory first. Uh, Pythagoras' theorem, the formula we need to know, which you need to learn, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You must learn this in order to answer any Pythagoras theorem questions. So I recommend you pause this video now and take it down and learn it. Uh, so a squared plus b squared equals c squared is the formula of Pythagoras' theorem. And we need to remember Pythagoras' theorem can only be applied to right angles. So only, what will happen there? Right angled triangles. Right angled triangles. Uh, right angle triangles, so we need to know that. And we need to know that the hypotenuse is the longest side, but that, that's not very important, but you should know that and it should be within your knowledge already. So um, let's just go ahead and draw a triangle. Okay, so here's a right angle triangle we have here. Let's change the color of this. Uh, right angle triangle. Let's say the side we have eight centimeters. Okay, and this side we have five point two centimeters. And it's a right angle, obviously. And this is x. This is a type of question you would use Pythagoras's theorem. And it's a right angle triangle, so we know we can use it. And a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's let's just label these. So this would be our A side and this would be our B side. Remember, um you should remember C should always be a hypotenuse. I mean it helps if you learn it as A squared plus B squared equals H squared. So your H represents the hypotenuse. But uh C is always the longest side and this should be um let's just write C for now, but it's, it could be H as well. But this is a real formula. You can manipulate it to learn it however you want. So what we need to do is follow this formula. So a squared would be 8 squared plus b squared would be 5.2 squared equals x squared, which is c. So if we times these all out, we can get 64 plus, just on the calculator, we can work it out. So 5.2 squared equals 27.04. equals x squared. So if we add these up, 64 plus 27 equals 91 and 91.04 equals x squared. And then on your calculator you would just have to rearrange this so that x equals the square root of 91.04. And if we type that in our calculators we can get uh, yeah, we get 9.5 to one decimal place. So x equals 9.5 centimeters. Don't forget that. And x equals 9.5. So that's all you need to do. Just remember this formula. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Right angle triangle. You've got two lengths and you can do it. So we found out this. And because the hypotenuse is the longest set length, we know that 9.5 here is also the longest. And that's pretty much it. Um, I, I'm going to do another example. Uh, with a different side of the triangle so it makes more sense okay so um, let's just say we had um, a triangle where we had to find the side which is not the hypotenuse and let's just uh, complicate it a bit by moving the triangle around so let's just say we got a triangle like this Okay, and yeah, let's just change the color for this, make it a bit more brighter. Okay, so let's say the given lengths were 5 centimeters and 9 centimeters. Okay, so this would immediately be our x. But now we need to notice that this is our hypotenuse. We already know our hypotenuse, so this is going to be c and this could be A and this would be B 
So this time we just need to um, mess around with the formula and fill it in. So let's just fill it in uh, normally. So let's just write it again. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, so C is always going to be our hypotenuse and A and B we could just mix around if we need to. So we have X squared here plus 5 squared equals 9 squared. So what what do we need to do? We just need to, let's just uh, fill into the, let's just uh, times them all out anyway. So x squared plus 25, 5 squared equals 9 squared, which equals 81. If we move the plus 25 onto this side, we can get x squared equals 81 minus 25. So when we have x squared equals 81 minus 25, uh, let me just quickly do this. Uh, which equals 56, x squared equals 56 and the square root of 56 we would have to then work out so the square root of this equals 7.48 but to one decimal place we do x equals 7.5 and we've just worked that out by just rearranging the formula to make x the subject and um Remember always to square root it. 56 isn't the length, you have to square root x squared. And we've got 7.5. And we know that's approximately right because it's not longer than the hypotenuse and it pretty much fits in. And that is the formula and the way to do it. And that should have been a pretty easy lesson. I don't think I need to go into much more detail. But if I do, please comment and subscribe. Thank you guys.